welcome back to my channel, Sandy Beauty here, and if you are new, hey guys, if you're returning, hey. So I'm actually gonna be doing a fun video for you guys today. I'm gonna be trying out all of my favorite nude lipsticks and lip glosses and show you guys my combinations. So the thing with nude lipsticks is about trial and error, so you do have to try out a couple. I would say start with things that are a little bit cheaper and more affordable. That way when you go onto like a high-end brand and you're paying your big money, you know that the color is gonna be something that you're gonna really enjoy. So. Yeah, hopefully this tutorial, or not tutorial, hopefully this video will help you guys out. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk you guys through the combinations that I usually do and show you guys how they look on me. Guys, if you end up liking this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please click that subscribe button. I have a growing family, it's a Sani family and if you wanna be part of it, just click subscribe and also hit the notification button so that you guys know whenever I post. Okay, so I'm starting out with clear lip gloss on my lips right now, which is, you know, everybody's fave. Um, but I'm just going to take some of that off, actually. Number one thing about nude lipsticks, you must wear a lip liner. Like, I don't care what anybody says. There's no way you're going to wear a nude and no lip liner. Like, that's just crazy to me. Like, nobody should do that. So I'm just going to show you guys two of my favorite lip liners. Uh, this is Chestnut from MAC. This one retails for 22 Canadian dollars. And, and then I also use Chestnut from NYX, which is about, I think it's like five Canadian dollars. Both amazing. I'll show you guys what they look like swatched beside each other. And I honestly think that they are gonna be like identical. So one is from NYX, one is from MAC. Guys, they honestly look the exact same. I will tell you though, this is the Chestnut from NYX and this is the Chestnut from MAC. It does have a little bit of a warmer undertone to it. The only thing is, I feel like the one from MAC stays on the lips a little bit longer. Maybe I'm biased, I don't know. But either way, pick up either one, whatever fits your price range. I'm gonna go in with Chestnut from MAC because I just always use it and I love it. Combo number one, guys, I'm gonna go in with my Chestnut lip liner. Okay, so my lip liner is on and then I like to just blot my lips together to rub it in. By rubbing your lips together, guys, the liner is already blurred out and you don't have to like go in with a lip brush or anything to blend your lipstick together. So the first lipstick I'm going in with is Sable. This is from NYX and it's a really, really light, like milky, almost nude. I love this color, honestly. And, I, and there's one I used to use called Butter, which was lighter than this, and I love that one just as much. Um, but I love these NYX lipsticks. They're like $8, uh, so affordable, and they work really well. So you see, guys, I left some of the lip liner on the outside. I'm not really putting the lipstick on top of the liner because that just defeats the whole purpose. But you wanna like blend the lipstick out like blot it out to the edges. So you definitely can wear it just like this. Me, I love lip gloss. So I'm gonna be going in with a clear lip gloss on top of that. This is just a basic clear lip gloss. It's from Essence. I don't know if they sell this all over, but I found this here at Shoppers Drug Mart in Toronto. So I'm just gonna apply a clear gloss on top. So I really like this combination. I love like that kind of like beigey pinky undertone that it has and then the liner and then the clear gloss makes it look so like mm. <laughs> okay so for my next combination I'm gonna be fair I'm gonna go in with chestnut from NYX just to show you guys that you honestly will get the same effect next up I'm going in with downtown art from MAC this is a new shade that they added into their lipstick collection and I'll show you guys on my hand right now it's like a nice like pinky, like a pinky peachy kind of nude. And then I'm also gonna go over top of this with some clear lip gloss. So guys, this is the type of nude that I do whenever I wanna do like something that has like a peachy pinky undertone but still toned down and neutral especially with the clear lip gloss because it just helps to melt the lipstick and the liner together and it, now guys this is my current favorite combination i've been wearing this for the past week now and i can't wait to show you guys what it is and that is this new bad and bear lipstick from mac it almost looks like a a brownie like a beigey brown with like a gray undertone to it but on the lips oh my god it's so nice
And then the lip gloss that I'm going in with is a new one from MAC. It's called Dangerous Curves. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So I think the reason why I love this combination is because it looks so like rich and chocolatey. It's like that nice perfect in between. It's like not too dark, not too light. It's just really, really like a rich chocolatey color. Next I'm going to be going in with this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. Guys, this is honestly like for me an oldie but a goodie. Like I bought this, I think the first time I bought this was a, maybe like three years ago, three, four years ago. Love this product. Like I actually really like NYX Liquid Lipsticks. I do have a review on my channel of a few of their shades um, in the Liquid Suede's and that was a few years ago. Actually, yeah, that was like two and a half, three years ago. So I really, really like this. Like it kind of almost looks like um, a beigey, pinky kind of nude and it does go on just as such and I will show you guys right now. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like on its own without a lip gloss or anything. I'm actually going to be topping it off with a lip gloss because I just like how it looks with a gloss on it. So I'll be going in with Oyster Girl from MAC. This is a classic guys. If you don't have this lip gloss in your collection, go out and get it. Like it's a very sheer frosty lip gloss, like a little bit of a pearl, like a gold um, iridescence. Okay guys, so you probably have seen me do this combination so many times. Um, this is honestly one of my most standard nudes, like whenever I do a nude, this is exactly how it looks. So yeah. So guys, this is one of my top favorites, like I use it so often on camera and off camera. This is the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie Round 2 Collection Liquid Lipstick and it's in the shade My Main. I love this color, like the quality of the liquid lipstick is really good. I love the color and I'll show you guys how that looks right now. It honestly looks like a really light peachy pinky with a slight hint of brown in it. Okay guys, and right on top of this, I'm gonna add some over the top lip gloss. This is also from Desi and Katie's collection. This is literally a clear lip gloss with gold reflex in it. So I'll show you guys up close. Literally just has little flakes of gold in it. So ultimately you can use a clear lip gloss on top of this, but I do like this combination because just that little bit of gold that's in it just kind of makes the lips look shinier. No explanation needed guys, this nude is like perfect. Peachy brownie tone to it, but it's not like dark, it's not too light. And then once I put the um, lip gloss on top of it, it added that nice like sparkle, but it almost kind of like added like a gold tint to it like it's so pretty so yeah this is one of my favorite combinations like this these two are always in my purse with a chestnut lip liner next up guys i'm just going in with a lip gloss this is the nyx lip lingerie gloss so nyx they do carry a lip lingerie liquid lipstick and this is the lip gloss version um and this is in the shade butter i literally use this in so many of my videos on top of any lipstick and i'm doing it with a lip liner because without a liner it looks crazy so I suggest doing it with a lip liner. So this is for my girls who want to do just a lip gloss and a lip liner. It's not too beige, it's not too pink, it's not too dark. It literally is like the perfect nude. It looks like I put on a lipstick and a lip gloss, right? All right guys, so this is gonna be my last one. This is actually a liquid lipstick from Morphe. And I saw another um, YouTuber, her name is Princess Key, or I think Kai. One of her Instagram pictures, she was wearing this color and I was like, oh my God, I have to have that color. But I'm gonna be trying on the Morphe liquid lipstick in Peanut. Okay guys, so this is completely different from all of the ones that I've tried on. Still a nude, still a neutral shade. It's just it has more pigment to it. I really like this color. I love it and I know you do too. Okay guys, so before I end this video, I just wanna show you guys what a nude lipstick would look like without liner. And you literally can turn any lipstick into the perfect nude for you with the right liner. So I'm gonna go back in with the Sable lipstick from NYX and I'll show you guys what this would look like without lip liner. So I 100% know that I look crazy with this. Again, I'm gonna go back in with my chestnut lip liner. Clear gloss. 
So I'm not being extra when I say you should get a lip liner. It is a must um, just to achieve like the perfect nude that's for you. Anybody can wear a nude, whether you're very fair or whether you're really deep. It doesn't matter what you are, just as long as you're finding the right shades for your skin tone. That is the part. So I really hope that this video helps you guys to kind of gauge how light and how dark you want to go. And maybe for the same complexion, maybe you could try out the same combinations that I did today. If you guys like the combinations that I did today, let me know down below which one was your favorite. Or also let me know what your favorite lipstick combinations are because I haven't tried everything. So if there's a nude that you didn't see on here, let me know down below what your favorite is. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Sandy family. Like I always say, it's a growing family and I appreciate all of you guys. So yeah, bye guys.